Falcons did not qualify for BLGS finals. Here's why. So welcome back to the Apex Morning Shift, your number one ALGS Morning Show, or in this case, BLGS Morning Show on the planet. And that is a fact. So for those of you who didn't know, BLGS 1 was this weekend. What an incredible and entertaining weekend of gameplay. But before we get into that, we got a few other things to talk about. First, Albrelli called out Waltzy this week on Twitter, saying this. <whistles> I know a lot of other pros share the same sentiment towards me, but it's really weird to constantly see and hear it from people I thought I was chill with. I can't stand the fake fucks that are in this scene that'll try and act like my friends when I'm around, but say shit like this when I'm not. Now, the link here links to a clip of Waltzy talking absolute smack about Alb because basically Stallions inted Falcons and made a dumb play in scrims. And Waltzy was tilted and basically called Alb like washed or like a failed career or something like that. Now, the reason why I'm not playing the clip is because it was deleted shortly after this tweet, but basically, Waltzy responded with this. I'm not gonna read everything, it's so long, so if you wanna read it and take the time, I'll put the link of that tweet in my description because they keep going at it for a little bit. But basically, there's just two sides that were created. One was taking Alb's side saying, oh, Waltzy shouldn't be saying that. Waltzy's not as successful as Mac. And then there was another side that said, it's just talking shit. Alb's too soft. It felt so much like high school drama that I don't even know what to say about it. I was reading it and I was like, really? Like, is this what we're arguing about? Yeah, I was like, okay. You know what? I think it hit a nerve for Alb. I think Alb's been going through it. You guys have seen it. Announced retirements a few times, came back. You can see that he's he's, he's had a hard time. So I can understand his reaction, but also shit talk, shit talk. and Part of the game. game. Part of the game, dude. It's part yeah. of the competition. And I sympathize with Alb because like people do make fun of him and like yeah. tell him he's soft on the internet and like all that, but like we don't know what he goes through, so. Exactly, so. On other news, Greek announced that he joined Complexity. So congratulations to the B-Stream co-host, so hardworking and very deserving, couldn't be happier for Greek. Now something else that happened last week in scrims was Furia discovering a new way to farm Evo shields. Watch. Get knocked from staring at that guy. That guy was there to be Are they trying to farm the Evos up by him getting uh, instant knocked? Yeah, trying to get the purple armors? Yeah, but we're, we're 600 off. <laughs> He has to get knocked six more times. No, yeah, six more times now. One more, baby! Yeah! Alright, we're purple now. Let's freaking go. Let's go! And they're now triple purple armor, man. Should that be legal? Well, I mean, if ever they fight again, he's just gonna bleed out in half a second, so. There's that, I hadn't thought of that. That's actually a good point. But honestly, personally, I don't think that it's overpowered because it's so situational. The only way that actually works is if you're in God spot at the beginning of the game and you're sitting there the whole game and there's no chances of you getting jumped on by whatever team is knocking you because there's so many other teams around. So I don't think it's gonna happen too often. I, this entire weekend, I haven't seen it happen once. All right, now at the time that we're uploading this video, the BLGS finals will be played tonight, Tuesday night. So luckily for you, we'll be posting a second morning shift episode later this week, probably Thursday, recapping that entire finals, talking about the winners and how it all went down. So make sure to turn the notifications on for a second episode this week. But for this episode, let's talk about the results of the entire weekend leading up to finals and our predictions for Tuesday night. So round one, two, and three were on Saturday with, oh my God, Moist Esports absolutely mopping every single lobby they were in. Round two, they finished first with a hundred points ahead of second place, 123 kills. Koifo with 53 kills, 13,487 damage. Like, I, okay. And then round three, 111 points, first place, 72 kills, Koifo with 37 kills, again, 12,000 damage, holy. And then round four, quarterfinals and semifinals were played on Sunday. Now as for the results for round four, there were a total of eight lobbies, so I'm not gonna go over every result, but this is what it would look like if they were all side by side. Now one team that surprisingly did not qualify for quarters is Team Liquid. They were in group eight and finished 17th place. Big yikes, but honestly, four games is so unforgiving. One bad game and your tournament can be completely ruined. Now as for quarterfinals and semifinals, there were a total of six games each. Here are the results for the quarterfinals. Four groups, top 10 advancing to the semifinals. Now out of the quarters, Complexity is the one team that surprised us all and that did not qualify for semis. So unfortunate. And then it came down to two lobbies. Top 10 of both qualify for finals. Here are the results for group one. LG first, Bleed second, Char's E Kittens third, Blurple fourth, Passion fifth, Irex sixth, No Name seventh, Dojo eighth, Purple Slushy ninth, and Elevate tenth. Now none of the big teams didn't qualify, so good for them. And for group two, 
Here are the results of that. Oblivion first, TSM second, Tripods third, Broski's fourth, Stallions fifth, Furious sixth, Virtue seventh, Gucky eighth, Moist Esports ninth, and NRG tenth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, quick little shout out to our cameraman for finishing eighth place, Team Gucky, ahead of Cloud9, ahead of Moist, ahead of NRG, and Falcons, dude. Let's go, bro! Slight work. Everybody, I want some W's and some congrats in the comment section for our cameraman qualifying for finals over Imperial Hal and all those big names. Oh my God. Now, looking at the bottom 10, I know what you're probably thinking. Falcons? Imperial Hal did not qualify for the BLGS finals? Our CEO? Well, for those of you who didn't know, unfortunately, their IGL Zero was unable to participate this weekend due to uh, delays in his visa. So uh, they had to last minute replace him with a Sivian. Now, as talented as a Sivian is, he just doesn't play the same role as Zero does. So unfortunately, did not fill his shoes the way that they needed. So Hal and Waltzy were IGLing together, but as a team made mistakes after mistakes. And I mean, statistically wise, Hal just did everything he could, out damaged and out fragged. Quite unfortunate, but please don't let this ruin the image that you have of Falcons as they are with Zero. Definitely one of the greatest, if not the greatest team in the world. Now looking at the teams that will be playing tonight, it's looking like it's going to be quite the show. I can't wait. Got a lot of good teams here. Got a lot of underdogs as well. My prediction, I think TSM might take it all. They've been playing so consistently well. Scrims this weekend is beautiful to watch. They have so much momentum, such a very experienced team. I think it's looking good for them. But you know, part of me has a feeling that a non-pro league team might upset everybody and win it all. Who? I don't know. Kai, what uh, do you think? I think we will. That's all you I'm think so? Say. Dude, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me know down in the comments who you think will win tonight. The first BLGS finals, 9 p.m. EST, I think. As for me, I'm going to be live on Twitch at that time. Going to be watch partying the whole thing, probably with some friends. So it's going to be awesome. I can't wait. As for me, that's it for today's episode of the Apex Morning Shift, your number one BLGS morning show on the planet. If you guys enjoyed this episode, make sure to turn the notifications on. We're going to have a second episode coming out this Thursday, recapping the entire finals, talking about how everything went. Until then, take it easy. Like and subscribe. Pacers. Yeah, how's Wash? Bro, <laughs> if somebody... <laughs> If, if, if somebody that doesn't know you watches till the end and hears you say that, they'll be like, how is not washed? Okay. Fire, fire your cameraman. <laughs>